but I did find some fun activities to do in Nihonbashi today. So let's go do some exploring. My name is Amanda and welcome back to Tokyo. Today is another Sunday in Tokyo, Japan and we are going to explore Nihonbashi. Now, I don't come to Nihonbashi very often. Well, pretty much because Nihonbashi is kind of boring but I did find some fun activities to do in Nihonbashi today. So let's go do some exploring. now and since it's a buffet we have to use the gloves and we do have to wear our mask when going to the buffet table so plastic gloves on and let's go get some sashimi by the way I didn't tell you this is all you can eat sashimi Yum. okay I'm not at the club this is the music they're playing but and also this is not the best setup for filming because I'm like hunched over so anyways I got my sashimi oh wait I need soy sauce Yuji has already started eating he didn't could not wait babe were you starving or something I was starving really so I'm really excited to try this place because it's just sashimi it's not sushi and I try to eat on the lower carbohydrate spectrum of the diet I don't know how to say it anyways I, I do try to keep a low carb diet so this is nice because they don't have to worry about too much rice <laughs> so I got tuna, shrimp, salmon, a different kind of tuna and some salad you can make like donguri bowls um, they have miso soup they have some other side dishes but I'm here for the sashimi so They made a tree sandwich! Okay, so we finished eating at Tayo Chaya, which was the all-you-can-eat tuna sashimi restaurant. It was all-you-can-eat for 1,500 yen. Um, that's the regular price, but since we made a reservation, we paid extra 200 yen. So that was 1,700 yen per person. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So it was 1,700 yen per person because we made a reservation online but if you don't make a reservation and you just show up it's 1,500 yen per person and it's all you can eat for 50 minutes and it is not worth it. Don't go. Don't recommend it. Okay. The quality of the fish is really nice but as soon as we came in and sat down and after like I greeted you guys, I got my food, I sat back down and literally they announced that they uh, will be cleaning up the food. You have to go get everything you want right now. Of course, Yuji and I, in a panic, went to the buffet bar and like grabbed as much as we could, I guess, because they created a sense of urgency in us. So what happened is, is I grabbed too much. You know what? If you didn't rush me, I wouldn't have grabbed too much. That's never happened to me at a buffet before. Most buffets in Japan, they do charge you if you leave anything on your plate. And I've never had to pay before. Of course, in this case, I knew I was gonna have to pay. Um, I was very upset and then they said okay but we're closing at three o'clock okay so but then at 1 30 they announced uh, please leave the restaurant by 1 30 so basically we were there for 50 minutes it was like all you can eat for 50 minutes but they kicked us out like you know like you would think okay all you can eat for 50 minutes like you can get your last plate after like before 50 minutes is up but you don't get like directly kicked out Ugh, it was so annoying now that I've vented to you guys, we are here at Fukutoku's shrine and this is supposed to be like the lottery shrine so 
this is for the lottery gods and apparently there is a place that is really lucky with lottery tickets so we're gonna uh, do some prayers to the lottery gods and see if we can actually maybe win some money I don't know it'd be kind of fun if it, I actually was able to record me winning the lottery so let's find out if I win the lottery I'm not sharing okay sorry pause editing Amanda here from the future and I wanted to say something in regards to the lottery gods that I had said um watching that back that might have been perceived as disrespectful and i don't want to be disrespectful in any ways and i was a little bit frazzled from my restaurant experience so my apologies it's not a lottery god the actual deity's name is so i'm gonna read it because i i can't remember it uka no mitama no mikoto so that is the actual deity that is present at the fukutoku shrine and what he is, he is a deity that represents good harvest and that translates to uh, monetary success. And that's why Fukutoku Shrine is known to be a lottery sh shrine because people have uh, luck going to that shrine and praying and then buying lottery tickets and winning. If you want to see me play the lottery, go to the end of this video. But I just wanted to say that and not to try to disrespect in any way, I'm just a little bit frazzled from my restaurant experience. And it is not a lottery god. It is a deity that represents harvest. Okay, bye! This is for lottery tickets that have lost. So you're supposed to shake the suzu, which is the stick with the bells, and it's supposed to kind of cleanse you of any kind of uh, bad luck you may have with money or winning the lottery. What should I wish for? I feel very content. I wish for inspiration and creativity for me and for you. Okay. I wish for... Do you want inspiration and creativity? Why not? Okay. Inspiration and creativity. Thank you for our blessings. Can't forget to say thank you. Can I be too greedy? which is at Mitsukoshi Mai Station along the Hanzomon line and we came here not to do shopping well a little bit but let me explain because I don't usually do shopping at high-end department stores but I need shoes because my shoes are killing my feet right now I have to show you they're falling apart my feet are aching I want to show you guys more of Nihonbashi but we need to find shoes so we came here I don't know why because obviously I'm not gonna find a thousand to two thousand yen shoes here but I did find some beautiful Dior shoes oh my god 
Now we are on the rooftop garden because I wanted to check it out before leaving and it's so beautiful. There's hardly anybody here. It has nice little small quaint gardens. Sitting down, resting our feet and then we will try to find shoes and then try to explore more of Nihonbashi. So some time has passed. It's been about two weeks since I went to Nihonbashi and I did get lottery tickets like I said I would. I got three different ones. Look, they're scratchers. I'm going to first start with El Gato. It doesn't say El Gato, but the cat one. So apparently I'm supposed to get one of these characters, three in a row, and then I'll win something. So let's try El Gato. Okay, now that's the first one. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Wait. Oh, 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 Mom, one by oh, one. Uh, uh, one by one. Okay, try. Oh, no, no, no. What's wrong? You're not following the direction. The arrow. Oh, sorry, sorry. This one was a bust. <clears throat> this one is from One Piece. Next one. Oh. One, two. Ah, uh, uh, this is no good. So we are supposed to scratch all the little fire, fire balls here. And then whatever number it reveals, we're supposed to scratch off that number here in this box. Ready, go. One. I'll do it like this. It's more exciting. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to get like bingo, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm supposed to get bingo. Two. Oh. Ooh. Three. Oh. oh. Reach. Reach, reach, reach. Twelve. Okay. okay. Four? Uh, come on, come on. Uh, ah. no. Oh, no! Sad. It's a little messy now. Uh. I did win a big mess. So, overall, my opinion of Nihonbashi is still kind of the same. It's um, a little bit less of an entertaining area for me, personally. Uh, I did have a nice day. And if you guys have any recommendations on where to go in Nihonbashi, uh, please let me know. Maybe there will be a Nihonbashi revenge video um, if I get some good recommendations. I'm always open to recommendations. Okay, so that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if there's anywhere in Tokyo that you would like me to visit next. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! I am so